Appreciate it. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's been quite a ride this year, and uh, never envisioned myself being here with the Chicago White Sox, but uh, you know, I'm, couldn't be more thrilled to be in this city. Uh, it's always been my number one city in the whole country, and well, Cincinnati too. I don't want to yeah. So my <laughs> but I got to live this life, you know, for a few years. So, uh, you know, it, it's a little bit about you kids and what we do. Um, we done a lot in the New England area, and we've also done stuff in the Cincinnati area. And to basically sum it up, you know, I can go on all day about all the things we've done, but uh, the, the main cause of what we're, we're doing now is a program called Athletes for Heroes. Uh, it's something that I'm hoping to, you know, get as much legs as possible and spread it to all athletes around the country, no matter if you're high school, college, or professional, uh, it's something cool to do. And what we do is we work with uh, children of fallen soldiers, police, firemen, medics, uh, just somebody off the street that helps save a life and uh, is no longer living or is critically injured and can't help and support their family the way they, they did before. Uh, we provide uh, the kids with programs, whether it be sports, uh, it could be music, band. Uh, we have some girls with uh, their cheerleading, and uh, we just we try to gain the confidence uh, that these kids probably lost uh, when their parent, you know, passed away. And you know, in my in my life, I was very fortunate. My parents who are here today support me, and great family members that have allowed me to do great things uh, on the field and off the field. And these programs are help, are helping these kids gain that confidence back. And we try our best every year to raise a bunch of money and awareness and just. We're so many different ideas of we've gone from like doing camps we're thinking about doing and there's it's endless what the work we want to do to help these children get back on their feet and so that's the athletes for heroes program that we're hoping to uh, you know help out and we also fund different programs whether people come to us that are like the wounded warriors or different projects like that we're, we're trying to help fund so some of you guys might know those uh, different charities out there that we help fund but. Uh, the programs that we do at Cincinnati is a Josh Carey's program. Uh, basically, we work with kids that have, a lot of the kids are they're in the hospital for a long period of time, and their parents can't be there due to work, or most of the kids are foster kids uh, that don't have any parents. And uh, there's nurses there that basically attend to them every single day and are their parents. And it's a pretty special thing that I got to see at Cincinnati at the Children's Hospital and a very cool program. And lastly, the, the last program we work with in uh, uh, Boston is the Italian home, which uh, definitely has struck my heart. And these kids are abused children and uh, just socially uh, have different problems in that area. Uh, half the kids are housed there, and half the kids come in on sc school buses and uh, basically are schooled there. And I've seen many cases there, and you know our whole mission is you know endless with that program there of helping out, giving money to help support their uh, their Chris program there. But a lot of the stuff you can find on the youthkids.org. I know it's a lot and can't go on and on about that, but uh, we're just happy to help out here in Chicago and we're going to help uh, try to pick a program here in the Chicago area, the money we raise here tonight to, to go into uh, the local program of you know, charity and the board's choice.